chain elongation begins with the binding of a tRNA, which recognizes the next codon in the mRNA to the A site of the ribosome. This is catalyzed by the EFTU transcription factor and requires the hydrolysis of a GTP. Once the tRNA binds in the A site of the ribosome, the polypeptide chain is moved from the tRNA in the P site to the amino acid attached to the tRNA in the A site. Peptidyl transferase, a protein RNA complex present in the 50S ribosomal subunit, catalyzes the formation of this new peptide bond between the amino acids. The ribosome then translocates to the next codon. This process is promoted by elongation factor G and requires another GTP. This places the empty tRNA molecule in the E site of the ribosome and moves the tRNA containing the growing polypeptide chain in the P site. The next codon in the mRNA chain is positioned in the A site. The uncharged or empty tRNA in the E site then leaves the ribosome and a cycle of chain elongation is completed. Through subsequent cycles of chain elongation, the polypeptide chain continues to elongate one amino acid at a time.